Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is your general collective reading for today, uh, Libra. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for the Libra friends out there. This is a general collective reading for you. I've just finished uploading all of the weekly love reading. So this is the general situation reading, okay? It's about career, finance, and personal relationship. If there is a love energy in here, I will let you know, okay? So this is for you, Libra. What is the message for you? What's meant for you to know this week? What is the general situation message for you, okay? Thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen, okay? Let's see. So in today's reading, we will be looking at the past situation for you. We will be looking at the current energies. And then we will be looking at the immediate future predictive outcome and advice. All right, this is for Libra. What's the message for you? If you're interested to connect with me, Libra, I invite you to follow me on my blog, sunshine-tv.com. All of the services that I offer outside of the YouTube platform, it's in the website, okay? All right, so, okay, so let's start your reading. Hmm. Um, You've got here, in the past, coming in the past, is you've got the Six of Swords, the Strength card, the Nine of Cups. Um... I feel like in the past, you were working towards moving on, okay? Six of, sword, six of Swords. Six of Swords is that you're moving on. It could be physically or mentally, emotionally, but you're trying to leave behind a situation. And you're choosing this because, you know, the strength card, you can no longer take the stress, you know? It's so stressful. Um, it could be you're working towards you want to be... You want to be close to your, um, there's some, there's something in here in the past that, you know, it's not ideal for you to stay physically in a place, in a location or in a situation. You're, it's not safe or it's, it's very stressful. So you're moving away from that. You're navigating your way out of something stressful, something that is rich, you know, rich the point of strength card nine of cups your patient like this is it like you know this is the final moment i need to move on i need to physically either you know you walking out of that stressful situation at work or a very toxic relationship for some of you because i feel like you know the strength card you know it's very immature you know you're dealing with a person who's very immature or a situation where this is you you're very patient and you look after the you look, you look after the person, you look after the situation, you love the situation, you love the person, and yet they bite you. And, you know, it's don't feed, don't feed the hand. What's that saying? Don't feed the hand. Sorry. Don't bite the hand that feed you. In this case, you know, Six of Swords, the Strength card, the Nine of Cups. You are giving all the support, all the understanding, all the love. You're all out with this person or situation. And yet, they still betray you or they stress you out. So, Six of Swords. This is like your peace is very costly. So, you're going to find your peace by moving out of this person or situation or maybe a place. You know, maybe it's so traffic or it's so complicated, the travel, going back and forth. So, maybe you're moving somewhere more peaceful, more accessible, more close to peace. Okay? So whatever this is, this the past, it seems to be you're, mov you're moving towards something peaceful. You're doing it for yourself. Um, let's see. Let me just clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Five of Cups in reverse. It means that you're looking for whatever you did. Like This, this involved unhappiness and you want to be happy. So you're staying away from stress. Either stressful work stressful fee feeful people people or relationship that's your goal and good on you good on you king of wands you know for some of you you will come across a male or a very strong figure that will that pull that will push your boundary like 
I mean, the person involved in here, whether it's a boss, a friend, a lover, um, your relationship is very passionate. The chemistry is strong. I mean, if you have a choice, you would like to keep this job, this manager, this person, this situation, but you're not getting any more younger. And as, as much as you want passion, chemistry, you want something stable. This person, they're driven by passion. Sometimes they're hot, sometimes they're cold. And that is inconsistency, like inconsistent. And that's what you cannot take, Six of Swords. I'm moving to something calmer, something consistent, okay? I mean, this could be the love of your life, or this could be your dream job, a dream road, or something in here, you know, King of Wands, something in here that your heart beats so fast, you know, heart beat so fast when you do this job, when you do this thing, or when you're with this person. But yes, they make your heart beat so strong, they also make you tired. So, you know, you're exiting, whether temporarily or permanently, it's up to you. But I really feel like, you know, you need to do this for your own mental or physical wellness. In the current energy, you've got the Page of Swords. For some of you, you would get a message from someone in the past or someone you have a co close connection. Could be a soulmate. But there's an important message coming through this week. Could be from long distance. For some of you, it could be connected to your childhood. Very important message. An important message. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Maybe it's about work. I feel like there is someone who it's connected to work or money and family. There's an important message about work, about family, about money. Yeah, it's 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 quite shocking. It's important. So for some of you, someone lost their job that you need to cover a little bit of the expenses. Some of you. And but you know, this is temporary. This is just a temporary setback. There's nothing to worry about it. So maybe temporary, you're going to support someone financially. But that's temporary. And there's a lot of blessing that will come your way. If you help, if you assist, big or small, if you help, you know, it's twice the blessing. You've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. Mm. So I feel like there's a lover's energy, you know. Currently, Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups. You're dealing with a lover. This lover, if, okay, so for some of you Libra, you're dealing with someone right now. Okay, when I say you're dealing with someone right now, it means that you're in communication with them in the last seven days. They're not ready to settle for a commitment. They're not open with their feelings to you, okay? It's either you exit or you stay and cultivate it but they're not ready there's a hidden there's some they're hiding something it could be the reason why this one it could be the reason why this person is not ready to commit or they're incons inconsistent okay i'm talking about the last seven days okay it's because they've got other choice okay let's look at the empress card in the current energy eight of wands I feel like this is related to health. There's something that you need to maintain. Yeah, seven of swords. Mm. Nine of wands. So for some of you, Libra, current energy, it's asking you to look after a health specific. I don't think it's an issue. It's more of maybe you need the haircut. Maybe you need a hair color, you know. Seven of swords. Maybe for some of you guys, you're, you're you know, you're... Your friends or colleague is telling you, oh, you're you're getting a little bit fat or maybe you need a haircut, you know. Look into the mirror and see what else is needing to maintain in a physical look, okay? The reason why it's flagging in here because I know, I don't know, maybe there's a group of friends or family or there's a, I feel like someone is gossiping, like maybe someone is going to comment to you. Seven of Swords, like a false, false eyelashes. Um, no, but 
someone is saying oh no it's not bad but actually it's not good you know you better have a haircut or something like someone's gonna comment about your look or something something in the way you look and no it's not bad it's okay you're just being polite that's not real you know whatever it is improve it time for a haircut a hair color time to maybe you know facial something that would make you glow like the empress and then in the immediate future you've got the seven of health the, ju the judgment card hmm. <sighs> okay there's something in the immediate future that it's out of control seven of pentacles the judgment card it's telling you judgment card seven of pentacles it's unfinished business i feel like this is love somewhere between the mid of august up until the end of august you need to just be happy by yourself you know i think for some of you you're expecting a person to invite you or call you or text you or i think for some of you you're expecting this person by now you know mid of august going to end of august like you're expecting this person by now uh, we should be this one you like you're, you're expecting you're expecting something and you might be disappointed so it's telling you to be like your source of happiness should start from you and you will never feel don't feel incomplete because it you, you're complete by being yourself so yeah something is not ready yeah thank you spirit like in the immediate future there's something that you're expecting and it's related to a personal relationship you know and it's telling you if you overthink you need to let go like it's gonna be a burden if you expect just let it go it's telling you to let go let go in the sense that let it go give it to the universe if it happens then it happens if it's meant to be it's meant to be because it's really consuming you 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 look you sound frustrated for something that's not ready you've got a king of swords in here in the immediate future let's look at this mm. so for some of you there is a person at work or family okay, this is not love this is not a love energy there's a person at work or a family that will that will comment on your career like they will give you a warning it's a warning like they're gonna warn you that you're being watched or maybe you're not being you're not delivering productivity for some of you but libra just be just be aware that there's some sort of warning related to work or related to family yeah i feel like we're not perfect you know we make mistake you know we make mistake we need to learn so take this as a constructive criticism okay and last card immediate future you've got the moon card in reverse okay so i feel like this is a continuation of this so you're gonna get a warning take it as a constructive criticism it will reboot it will reboot or will allow you to focus on you know your creativity on your craft but it's telling me that hey libra don't take it seriously well well it's it should be taken seriously but it is a constructive criticism and it can be it can be fixed i mean it it's something of you need to work on and i feel like you will concentrate to this and three of pentacles and you it will pay off i think it will improve the con when they like when someone comment about this you know this your workmanship your your it, it, it's a cons it, it's a it's a criticism but if you take it constructively you will regain your focus to something that related to work or family and it will allow you to produce good result so yeah it's still a win excuse me so this is your reading libra it's a pleasure doing the reading to you i hope to see you soon <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.